hello welcome to my channel my name is Duke and I'm a blogger and youtuber from Nigeria I blog about faith and lifestyle if this is your first time here welcome kindly subscribe and join the family <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome thank you for returning so today I'm going to be doing something very fun I'm already very excited as you can see I'm going to be doing the would you rather challenge or game or whatever it is so I'm going to I'm going to be answering this is a Christian edition so most of the questions here are going to be Christian biblical questions stay with me <laughs> Welcome back. So I have the questions here and I'm going to be reading them and answering. So the first one says, would you rather have seen the Red Sea being parted or Jesus walking on water? I think I would have rather seen the Red Sea being parted because I mean, that's something crazy, right? Like a whole sea being parted, like you now pass through. I would have loved to see the Red Sea being parted because Jesus walking on water wouldn't have looked so extraordinary to me. I don't know. Yeah. The next one says, would you rather know what type of fruits Adam and Eve ate or know what Jesus wrote in the sand when people wanted to stone the lady who committed adultery? What is my business with the fruits that Adam and Eve ate? Like, we are already falling, we are falling, we are falling, and then God has brought a solution. So I think I would rather know what Jesus Christ wrote on the sand during that whole episode of the lady who committed adultery. Because it has always been something puzzling to me. I've heard a lot of preachers say different things about it, what they think Jesus wrote and all. But I would have really wanted to know what he actually wrote, like from Jesus himself. Yeah. Would you rather have dinner with Moses or Paul? Definitely with Apostle Paul. I mean, he's my guy. <laughs> I'm just fascinated by the whole idea of his conversion and the letters he, he wrote, all of those things. So I would definitely want to have dinner with Apostle Paul, not Moses. Would you rather be able to feed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish or heal someone's blindness? I think I would want to heal someone's blindness because after feeding five times, there are lots of hungry people, right? So you want to think of feeding them. But after they've eaten that 5,000 stuff, that's the end. They'll still be hungry again. So it's better for me to just heal a blind person. Yeah, so I think I'd rather heal a blind person than feed 5,000 people. So the next one says, would you rather spend one hour in heaven or one week with Jesus on earth one hour just one hour in heaven one week with Jesus on earth the next question says would you rather have a plague of boils or a plague of water turned into blood a plague of boils or water turned none none of the above would you rather be thrown into a furnace or a lion's den If it's in the context of the Bible, we know at the end of the day, both people, both the one that was thrown into the lion's den and into the furnace, both of them were saved. So if it's like that, knowing that I'll be saved eventually, I think I'll pick the furnace because the lion's den, within, there was no record of Daniel having physically having an angel with him. Or Jesus with him in the fire and stuff like that so I think because of the level of my faith I would want to be knowing that when I'm in the furnace God will be with me I would want to be in the furnace yeah because being in the lion's den I'll just be scared anyhow because yeah so would you rather eat like Daniel vegetables only or like Elijah and the widow bread only <laughs> bread all the way <laughs> No, okay, for now, because of fit farm, like I said in one of my videos, I think I'll go for the vegetables, but it's gonna be hard. 
Next question. Would you rather live as long as Methuselah, 969 years, or Jesus, 33 years? Long life is my inheritance, so I'm going to live like Methuselah, not, if I had to pick, not like Jesus. Jesus was the son of God now, so once he was done with what he was done doing here, he just left. But for me, I think I would, I'd rather pick Methuselah than Jesus. Would you rather have the strength of Samson or the wisdom of Solomon? The strength of Samson or the wisdom of Solomon. Both of them have their importance, to be honest. Like, there are times when you just want to be an Indabuski and just fight some people. But I think wisdom is more important. Like, it's more profitable. The Bible says that wisdom is profitable to direct. So, somebody, a wise person can outsmart a, strength, a strong person. So, I'll pick the wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. So... The next question says, would you rather be Gideon with an army of 3,000 against 135,000 or Joshua trusting that walking around and shouting would bring down the walls of Jericho? Now, for me, this question is deep. I know it's not supposed to be that deep, but it's deep to me because looking at both of them, one had more substance to hold on to than the other. For, jo for Gideon, at least he had an army of 300 against 135,000 although they looked small they're just few but at least there was something at least you knew oh at least i have an army but for joshua just walking around the walls and expecting it to fall down just because god said so i think it requires a lot of faith both of them require faith but one requires more faith so i i think i'll pick i don't know maybe i'll pick joshua just trust god regardless and just walk around the walls i don't know would you rather have been John and foreseen all that happens in Revelation, knowing that there's nothing you can do about it, or have to live through it? I think I'd rather be John, even, the, even, even if I had seen it. I think it wouldn't be that as bad as me going through it. So I think I would rather be John foreseeing the book of Revelation. Next question, would you rather have your diet be manna and quail or locust and honey? I think manna. I'd love to eat a bread that was baked in heaven's in, in heaven's oven. Yeah. Next question, would you rather have been Mary watching Jesus be crucified or being one of the thieves next to him? It depends on which of the thieves. If it's the one that would be with Christ in paradise, then yes. Because I can't imagine being Mary, a child that you went through so much pain to birth, being crucified. Please, we will not cry over our children in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you rather work 14 years for two wives or get, or get your brother's bed right by stealing it? Both, both of them were not nice. But I think the working 14 years is better. It's not good to be a deceiver. Stealing your brother's bet rights. It's not. <laughs> Next question. Would you rather have been baptized by John the Baptist or been in the upper room at Pentecost? Upper room at Pentecost, definitely. Like that, I, I really love that upper room experience. I love reading about it. So I would really... I really would have loved to be there. Being baptized by John the Baptist, is anything so special about that? I don't think so. Would you rather have been destroyed by water in the flood or by sulfur in Sodom and Gomorrah? None. Please, I'm saved. I cannot be destroyed by anything, whether water or fire. I am saved. Amen? Amen. Would you rather live through a plague of locusts or a plague of frogs? No, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm supposed to pick one of these options, but I just can't. Locusts, frogs. I hate frogs so much. Like, so no, please. Next question. Would you rather be Zachariah and made mute by an angel or like Jacob and have to wrestle with an angel? I'd rather be Zachariah. It's better for me to keep quiet than for me to fight an angel and break my bone, please. Would you rather see Lot's wife turn to salt or hear Balaam's donkey talking? Balaam's donkey talking, like, the only, the only place I've seen that is in Shrek, and that was not real, so I'd really love to have seen that. 
would you rather live in the garden of eden that is perfect but unchanging or in our imperfect world that has sin but also a hope of forgiveness i don't live in the garden i don't live in the garden like if there was no fall there would be no need for all of this sin and everything and all thank god for jesus and for redemption but i'd rather have been in the garden at least we would not have to go through all of these problems in the world would you rather live on the ark with all the stinky animals or be stuck in the belly of a large fish i'd rather live in the ark i mean i'm already a vet and then i have to put up with a lot of stinking animals most of the time so i don't want to be in the belly of a fish i already do not like it i don't like fish i don't like how they smell so imagine being in their belly you next question would you rather have to wear a head covering for your whole life or no makeup i think a head covering how will i not make up on my wedding day and other days that i would just want to sleep a head covering i think i'd rather have to wear a head covering every day i can tie really nice for bands and stuff would you rather deny jesus three times or betray him for 30 pieces of silver please deny jesus three times like after that you'll be out you will still forgive me and i'll be all right that betray him no nobody wants to be judas nobody nobody envies judas so i'd rather be peter next question would you rather be abraham and be told that you have you have to kill your only son not knowing that he would be saved or be isaac knowing that your father would be willing to sacrifice you i don't know i don't know how i feel if i if my father if i knew my father wanted to sacrifice me like he actually raised a knife to stab me i don't know how i would live with him and live with that but maybe i'll be abraham i don't know would you rather carry the ark of covenant across the jordan river or carry jesus's cross to golgotha i'll carry jesus's cross that's if i can carry it would you rather sit at the feet of jesus while he teaches or prepare supper for jesus and the disciples in the kitchen we are not martyrs we are marys in this part of the kingdom so would prioritize working and listening to christ than working for him Remember, even after the whole scenario, Jesus Christ said, one thing is important, and that is what Mary chose. So why would I want to pick Martha's option? I think there's even a Mount Zion movie like that, titled Mary's Option. So I think we should all pick Mary's Option to sit at the feet of the Master and learn. Other activities can wait. Okay, so I think I'm done with the Christian questions. So I'll go to the other questions and answer a few of them. And then that will be all. Would you rather have a dog with a cat's personality or a cat with a dog's personality? A dog with a cat's personality. If the dog is slow and just all clingy, I think it's better than having a cat that will just be trying to bite you and aggressive. Yeah, so a, a dog. Would you rather have a Lamborghini in your garage or... A bookcase with nine thousand books and infinity knowledge infinite knowledge a lamborghini if i can afford a lamborghini i think i should be able to buy books and besides i don't need nine thousand books i will not read them how will i do with nine thousand books nine thousand mm, i don't want would you rather reverse one decision you make every day or be able to stop time for 10 seconds every day reverse one decision we make mistakes a lot in life so if i'm able to reverse one one of my mistakes i think i'll be all right what would i do if i stop time for 10 seconds not even one minute or one hour just 10 seconds would you rather win fifty thousand dollars or let your best friend win five hundred thousand dollars if it's the best friend that i currently have then please let my best friend win five hundred thousand dollars yes because I'm definitely going to get more than $50,000 out of it. But if it's another best friend that is not very balanced, please let me win my money. I can give you from it. Would you rather continue your life or restart it? Continue my life. Everything that happened brought me to where I am today. 
thank God for growth, thank, thank God for progress. So I'd rather continue my life. Would you rather be able to talk your way out of any situation or punch your way out of any situation? <laughs> talk your way. There's good, there's... I love, I love intelligent talks. I love when people can speak and achieve things just by talking. There's no need to be violent. Would you rather have free Wi-Fi wherever you go or free coffee wherever and whenever you want? I don't even take coffee. So please, free Wi-Fi. Would you rather have seven fingers on each hand or have seven toes on each foot? God. Having seven, fi seven fingers, everybody will be seeing it. Then having seven toes, you will not find your shoe size. Would you rather end death due to car accidents or end terrorism? I think I'll end terrorism. Accidents, if we are more careful, we can reduce a lot of them. We can reduce them drastically. But terrorism, like it has proved, history has proved that there's very little we can do. So end terrorism. I think I'm going to stop here because I'm already tired of answering these questions. I'm just glad I was able to answer the Christian questions. I think that, that was the most important for me. All of these ones can maybe another time so thank you so much for watching this video if you watched it to the end thank you thank you thank you i just was so excited today <laughs> i don't know why thank you so much for watching my video subscribe yeah subscribe like and share comment please engage with the video and then i have a blogging class coming up soon in case you get to see this before the end of July 2020. I have a blogging class coming up soon. Please, I'll leave the details in the description box so that you can register if you want to. It's, it costs 5,000 Naira only, which is about $15 or so. I'm not so sure. Yeah. If you know someone who wants to learn how to blog or you want to learn or you want to grow your blog or any of those things, please sign up for the class. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, please. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If I should do more games like this. See you next time. Bye-bye.